All right, the background looks a little freaky, but I'm going for it. Chip my butt. Oh, good. All right, so I've gotten a little feedback lately about how there's not a lot of stuff going on where step-by-step -step instruction in these videos and not creating value and all this. And I find it funny because the people that think that, they're never gonna get anything from anything. And I'll tell you why. The stuff that I talk about on these more personal, not training really videos are the kinds of things that everyone talks about that you pick up when you go to events and you're hanging out with people in the bar or in the hallways and stuff like that. It's not necessarily a course of instruction, but there are nuggets buried that are coming to light in these videos. And if you're not picking them out, if you're not getting them, you got to rearrange the way you look at things because you're missing out on the stuff that's pure gold. The things that are underlying all the stuff that you do in your business that actually make it work, that's what I talk about in these videos. And I've got a whole bunch of them I've done so far. I'm, I'm pushing 40 now of these I've done. I do them every day and sometimes they're just talking. Okay, I'll give you that. But every so often, like almost every episode, there's a, there's a topic that I'm talking about specifically that you grab hold of and put to work in your business and it's what will make the difference for you. For instance, today, I'm thinking about how to get things done at the lowest possible cost. It's, it's a cultural thing. It's our society believes that money will solve any problem. And I'm here to tell you, money is very, very awesome at solving problems that not having money creates. They ain't got money, it causes a problem. You get money, it fixes that problem. That's true. Where people run into trouble is when they're attempting to use money to solve problems that are not a money problem. And for instance, who do you think's got a better chance of making it in business? A guy that was born to lower middle class parents, went to public school and high school and everything in the same town. It's a small town and he works on a farm in the summer as, as his job because there's not a whole lot of this stuff and besides he works way out in the country where he lives out there and that's what he does or the kid that's born to a much upper middle class family goes to private school and he's in sports and, and band and all this and he has a job working downtown apartment store during the summer and so on and his parents are going to pay for him to go to college and he's got a nest egg of say $25,000 to start his business. The average person says oh well, that second guy has far more advantages. It's false, it's a lie, it's wrong. If he does not know how to use those advantages to the best effect it's actually a curse because he doesn't appreciate the money that he's got. He thinks he has money to spend, so he spends it. And he does things that look like they'll work, and if they don't, he doesn't have to worry because there's always a safety net or something to back him up, where the other guy has nothing, has to learn everything as he goes, he has to try different things, and he has to try twice as many things because when something doesn't work, he's, he's in a bind because he doesn't have any money. So when you're setting up your business and you want to get things done, the key is to find a way to do things with as little money as possible. And that forces your mind to be creative and you pick up things that a person who thinks they've got money to spend never occurs to them because there's a, you just go back to the well to get more if something doesn't work. So keep that in mind. Sometimes the advantages you see really are disadvantages. As you go forward, always keep that in the back of your mind. And maybe I'll do some more on this tomorrow.
don't want my video to be too long. So I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. That's all I've got. Keep it tight and keep it lean. I'm out.